text. How are the test results? All clear this month, too. That's incredible. So glad to hear that you're all okay. Now I can go over there without any worries. I was seriously scared and hopeless when they found the cancer, but I'm so glad that I didn't give up and just quit. Thank you for looking up a lot of hospitals and treatments for me to try out. You really saved me there. Oh, come on. That was the least I could do. You did most of the fighting. I couldn't be by your side unless there was some kind of big thing going on like surgery. You know, like during your tough treatments. It was all because of your hard work and effort. I mean, you were away for business and you came back time and time again when I thought that it would be impossible, right? I was seriously happy when I saw you. I'm going to support you as much as I can to return how much you supported me, okay? Thank you so much. From now on, let's be sure to support each other as a family. I want to hurry up and see Cody too, huh? Hey, what about me? <laughs> LOL. Of course I want to see you. That's a given. <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting for you, okay? Make sure you enjoy your life in Japan, okay? Take your time and enjoy life there while you can. Be sure to watch your health and don't push yourself too hard, okay? Aye, aye, Captain. Mom, where are you now? I was going to pick up Justin, so I stopped by the house, but then no one was home, so... If you're out right now, do you want me to come pick you up and give you a ride? Mom? Did something happen? Hello? Oh, hey, Miss Susan. Sorry to tell you this after you came out all this way, but... Cody is going to be my child from now on. You make sure to enjoy the rest of your life, okay? Face your demons and whatnot. What? I'm not sure I understand. Like I said, Cody is going to be taken into our house as our child. So from now on, please stop thinking that he's your child. Um, I'm not sure I really understand what you're saying. What is going on? Why are you suddenly being like this? Well, they already told you how little life you have left, right? You had the surgery, but they don't know if you'll live five more years or not, right? I mean, you're not wrong, but... But the important thing is that I didn't have any metastasis, so if nothing else happens or crops up, I can live a long and fulfilling life. How could you say that after the doctor literally told you you barely have any time left? Just because you stay positive doesn't mean that the disease is just going to magically disappear, lol. Or maybe you're just not able to face the reality, huh? I'm not running from reality. I am facing my reality. It is true that the cancer is still in remission. And even if it shows up again, I will make sure to face it down again and go to treatment. I don't really care about your body and health, to be honest, LMAO. I'm not going to give you Cody back. I think I said this earlier, but I don't understand what you're saying. Calm down and think about it for a second. It's pretty miserable having the memory of a mother who can only live for a few more years, right? He's only two years old. If he stays away from you now, he will have no recollection at all of who you are. If you die, we're going to end up taking care of Cody anyway. Honestly, I'd rather just get started taking care of him now than later, you know. It doesn't matter anyway because it's not like you can take care of him until you're legal. That's a little bit rude, don't you think? You don't have to say it like that. It's not like it's been decided that I'm going to die. Is that really that rude? I think I'm just saying the most common and logical thing for him and everyone else involved. Tell me you don't understand it all. Right? Justin is away overseas for work. You're a ticking time bomb with that broken and diseased body of yours. I don't want a woman like that to be taking care of the important heir to our family. You do understand, right? I'm going to raise my son. I promise I won't be causing any more problems with you, Mom. I really don't care about anything else right now. Just give me Cody back. Oh, come on. Stop acting like I kidnapped him or something. Look, it's not like I'm being mean to you or anything, okay? I'm just glad that you gave birth to a boy. I'm thankful for it even. But Justin and Cody both have bright futures ahead of them. You can't really say the same thing about yourself, can you? I'm moving ahead of schedule to plan for the future. Do you understand? Besides, I already have a new woman chosen to take care of him and act as a mother. Huh? What are you talking about a woman chosen to be his new mother? 
I meant exactly what I said. Cody's new mother has been picked. You remember Justin's childhood friend, right? Mary? She's going to be his new mother. She's healthy, kind, and I'm sure she would be a great mother to Cody if I asked. Truth be told, I had always hoped that Jessica would marry into the family, ever since they were young. And then Justin goes and chooses you. Whatever. That's already in the past, so I can't complain now, lol. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I'm done with you. Your job is complete. Just forget about your child and enjoy the rest of your life that's left. Okay? What do you mean my job is complete? That's how you felt this whole time? That's what you really think? <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault you don't seem to really understand what's going on. I'm still being a little too kind if I'm honest, lol. It's tough talking to someone who doesn't want to listen. Like talking to a brick wall. What are you talking about, Mom, to Cody? What the hell is she thinking? She said that she's not going to give him to you anymore, right? Yeah, exactly! She told me that she was going to raise Cody as her own to be the family heir. I don't know what to do, Justin! I just called her, but she won't answer her phone. I'm so sorry, Susan. Oh, wait. Hang on a sec. Huh? Figured it out. Huh? Where Cody's being kept. Oh. He's at Mary's house. That's the lady that Mom was saying would be your new wife and Cody's new mom. I don't understand what's going through her head right now. Mary's even married. How is she going to possibly marry me and take care of another person's child? What? Are you serious? Yeah, I think Mom knows that too. Or at least she should know. Mary even has a kid that's as old as Cody. I really think something is wrong with my mom's head. <laughs> she apparently showed up at Mary's house all of a sudden and asked if she could take care of Cody for a while and took off somewhere. Anyway, Cody is safe and sound at Mary's house. And he should be safe while he's there. I'm going to talk to Mary now and explain exactly what's going on. I'm sorry, but can you talk to Mary directly after this and going forward? I'm still not in Japan, so... Of course. Leave it to me. I'm going to pick up Cody real quick, so don't worry, okay? Hey, Miss Susan. Were you able to sort out your feelings and get everything in order for your passing? I'm really hoping you've already signed the divorce papers that I mailed to your house a few weeks ago. Oh. Hey, Mom. Good morning. Good morning? What are you talking about? It's nighttime. Have you finally lost your mind, lol? You really should start sleep talking while you're, you know, asleep, lol. Oh, I'm sorry about that, lol. I forgot the whole time difference thing. What? Of course it's nighttime right now. You really must be sleep talking. I'm sure you're just enjoying your time all alone with no kids, right? You're seriously the least qualified mother I know. I don't really care what you think at all, but can you please not contact me anymore from now on? I have no intention of leaving behind my kids or getting a divorce. What are you talking about, LOL? Cody is over here, you understand? You have a lot of balls coming at me like that. We actually both moved overseas already. Cody is right next to me at the moment. We're all having breakfast as a family right now. Huh? Wait, hang on. What are you talking about as a family? Cody is over here! No, he's not. I actually picked up Cody from Mary a while ago. What? Why? How? Just yesterday, Mary had told me that Cody is having a great time at her house. Oh, she was just pretending the whole thing to make sure that we were all able to get out of Japan as a family. It was so that you wouldn't cause more of a fuss. We had to pretend to have custody of Cody. And while you weren't paying attention, we left the country. That's a lie! I don't believe any of your lies! How would Mary be in contact with you anyway? You're a terrible liar, Miss Susan! Um, just so you know, Justin and Mary are close childhood friends, so it wouldn't be that difficult for the two to get into contact with each other. Mary had contacted Justin because she suddenly had Cody thrown into her house. Justin is overseas, so I was talking to Mary directly and making all of our arrangements. She told me all about how you suddenly showed up and left a child at her house with no explanation at all. She really seemed to be confused and scared about the whole thing. There is no way that Mary would ever betray me. She's always been kind and liked me. She's not a smart ass like you and is a really good kid. Unlike you. I think she helped me because she's a really good person. 
She even helped us get to Justin without any problems too. You realize that Mary is married and has a kid too, right? I know you were talking about making the two get married, but they were both in strong denial about the whole thing, LOL. I don't understand what was going through your brain when you thought all of this up, LMAO. You're still lying. I can tell you know. She's always liked Justin, ever since they were little. So if I make the suggestion that the two get married, I'm sure she'll get a divorce and remarry Justin. Wow. You've really got it all figured out, huh? I, I don't really care anymore, to be honest. No one cares about what you're thinking, LOL. We're all going to cut ties with you as a family. Both Justin and I are going to get new phones and new contact information. We don't plan on sharing our address with you or our new address when we move back to Japan. Please enjoy the rest of your life all alone, okay? You little... You should have let cancer do its job. I really hope and pray that the cancer comes back and finishes you off. Oh, I do need to thank you for one thing, though. Thank you for taking care of Cody while I was in the hospital. I really do want to thank you for that, and that alone. Hmm. <laughs> that kind of thing will never happen to you again, though. Because you have accomplished your job, and you're used up, lol. Apparently, she couldn't believe what I was saying at all. So she decided that she would check herself and went to Mary's home. She saw her over the ring and pretended to not be home. Mary also blocked her from all her contacts. However, she still couldn't give up after that. While Mary was out shopping with her son, she kidnapped Mary's son. Apparently, my mother-in-law was still under the impression that Cody was at Mary's house and she mistook Mary's son to be Cody. Mary called the police immediately and she was arrested and taken away. Mary's son was, of course, returned to Mary in one piece. The whole thing kicked off because of the Cody incident, so even though it was her first time ever getting arrested, she was still sentenced to time in prison because of how criminal she was. Apparently, she finally started to realize the wrongdoing she had committed after she was arrested and in prison, but it doesn't have anything to do with us since we cut ties with her. The police contacted Justin, but Justin said that he wants nothing to do with her at all. Apparently, she never really liked me to begin with. She wanted to use my cancer as an excuse to chase me out of the household. However, it seems like she really shot herself in the foot in the end. I'm not used to living overseas, and everything is new. But when I got my routine checkup, everything seemed normal and I was in the clear. Nowadays, we all live together happily as a family. I plan to outlive my mother-in-law for sure. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.